What we're doing here today on Lake Chautauqua is removing intact algae cells by harvesting the algae. And by doing that, we're taking out the key nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus, along with any cyanotoxins and carbon. So we can then mitigate this lake and show how we can restore these impacted waterways by physically removing the nutrients. These challenges of mitigating lakes such as Lake Chautauqua and others in this size will take an enormous effort. We have the technology today and we have the ability to start scaling it up. So there is the pathway to move forward and to mitigate these lakes and restore them back and prevent the toxic algae from coming in contact with the residents around this area. Lake Chautauqua is facing some serious environmental challenges. And my hope is that we can overcome those so that we continue to have the clean water that we have had for decades. And this project is a tool in the toolbox to help us get there, we believe. Chautauqua Lake is a drinking water supply for the local community. And having projects here that assure the continuance of that fresh water supply is critical to the future and critical to a good environmental stewardship. Currently, it's become a very serious issue for the public. Because of the algae bloom uh, in recent summers, we've had to restrain our children and use of the lake at the waterside. There have been stories, and actually I have personal knowledge of people with dogs who went down to the water for their evening swim with their dog and they were being contaminated by the algae bloom. What happens to a dog could happen conceptually, I guess, to a, to a child, and we certainly wouldn't want that to happen to anyone around Chautauqua Lake. The problem with algae is a new problem. As a child, I don't remember there being problems with algae. And recently, it's what I consider to be the larger problem on the lake. It's really what's impeding my family's ability to enjoy the lake right now is the algae more than the weeds. The weeds get a lot of attention on Chautauqua Lake, but I'm more concerned about the algae and the impact on my dog being able to swim in the lake and my family being able to enjoy the lake. And when I think about years to come, what's most important to me is that this lake stays healthy into the future as well. That science is critical to moving forward properly and that the environmental stewardship of this lake is critical to how we manage the lake. The environment here in Chautauqua County is part of a huge quality of life and for having this project and for having the science that we are experiencing is critical moving forward. This project fits well into that relationship and having the Army Corps at the table really helps to enhance that. Working with the Chautauqua Lake Association has developed a great opportunity, not only for our firm, but for the industry and in showing how we can partner together with local resources to solve this global problem. My hope for this pilot project is that we can bring it to a larger scale on the lake. Um, working with the Lake Association and the Army Corps and the DEC together to make the, bring this to the entire lake would be a great opportunity for Chautauqua Lake. By AECOM inviting people to come and see their algae eater, so to speak, their algae harvester, it's given me an opportunity to, to perhaps talk about the hope for this lake is here and now. It's going to take our lake and improve it dramatically in the present, not in the future 10 years. So let's take an action plan, let's make an action plan that would be feasible and bring more hope to people here at Lake Chautauqua. I definitely want to say thank you to the Army Corps, the Department of Environmental Conservation, the Governor, and especially AECOM for all the cooperation that we've received here and for their coming here to help us address this serious problem. I believe that science is the most important thing to focus on in order to solve the problem of the algae. It's going to be the answer that allows this lake to be usable and keep it as an economic driver of the county. For decades, this lake has been getting worse. The amount of nutrients coming in and the amount of algae that's being shown on this surface is not getting better, it's getting worse. Immediate action is needed, not only for this lake, but for other lakes in New York State and throughout the entire U.S.